A baseball diamond, 90 feet bag to bag. The place where athletes exemplify their character and prove themselves. My name is Carrie Van Horn and I'm going to prove myself to you in the next 90 seconds. Ready, go. You know how they call Chicago the second city? Well, now that spring training is under full swing, Chicago Cubs fans are making their second home right here in Mesa. So long lines of Mesa Day must mean one thing. The World Series trophy is here, and fans have been lining up all morning long to take a picture with it. Welcome to Wrigleyville West. The next time you take yourself out to the ballpark, don't just settle for peanuts and Cracker Jacks. First off, peanuts are already in Cracker Jacks. And second, ballpark food has become a constant game of one-upsmanship, filled with deep fried layers of meaty and cheesy goodness. He was laying on his back and he was convulsing and foaming at the mouth. And it was such a scary sight to behold. The crowd immediately backed up and was in sheer panic. As you can see behind me, the confetti on the field is blue and not red. The Cardinals weathered snow, sleet, and rain, but they couldn't weather the Cam Newton storm. Players in tears in the locker room, emotionally overwhelmed at this loss, really feeling for the fans. And it's going to be one long plane ride back to Arizona. Baseball's woven into the fabric of Independence Day, or maybe it's the other way around. For me, there's something so special about watching fireworks light up the night sky at the ballpark on the 4th in celebration of our nation's freedom and everything it stands for. This has never been done before, and the, the Diamondbacks are needing a thousand dogs in attendance to set the world record. So on that note, on your bark, get set, go. Ibera rounded third and is now forever home. The Hall of Famer may be more widely known as a lovable cultural figure, issuing a seemingly limitless supply of unwittingly witty epigrams known as yogiisms. Here are a couple of your favorites. Welcome to the hotly debated new era of baseball's protective netting. An MLB line drive leaves the field at an average of 110 miles per hour. Now the kind of line drives that hop sideways, skip over the foul line, and enter the stands, those same stands that 162 days of the year sit fans and their faces at an average of 80 miles per hour. Now it takes less than a second for the ball to leave the bat and enter those exact same seats. So what is baseball doing to protect those fans? After all that math, it looks like you and your face don't stand much of a chance. A former Laker who knows a lot about the postseason, Shaquille O'Neal, was honored at the half with the retiring of his jersey. You are the greatest fans on earth. I can remember certain times not knowing if we were going to win or not, and I look in the stands and I see the certainty and the confidence on your face that I knew we had it in the bag. Thank you very much. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? I was just very, very pleased to see that. It was, it was extremely well deserved, and, and you look good too. At Staples, Carrie Van Horn, ESPN LA. The Atlanta Motor Speedway has been transformed into a festival of motocross monster trucks, classic cars, and more. Bigfoot was the people that started the monster truck craze years ago, and actually we have 12 of them here. There has never been all 12 monster trucks together from Bigfoot. They're excited to be here, and we don't know when they'll ever get back together. We've got the original Bigfoot, and we got the largest Bigfoot. We've got the most powerful Bigfoot. We also have a uh, battery operated Bigfoot, so it's actually an echo Bigfoot. So those are, that's one of the major uh, features of the show. At the Atlanta Motor Speedway, I'm Carrie Van Horn, 13 WMAZ Eyewitness News. The Big Ten champions and booking a spot in the national championship game opposite Clemson in Glendale a week from Monday. I love the Bulls, just like everybody around the country. There's so much passion and just watching the players, seeing how much fun it is, watching them celebrate after they win as if they just won the Super Bowl. That tells me how important those Bulls are. Throwing the slot. Watson rolling to that right side and throws on the run and he got right through. I prefer to be in the press box watching in a very quiet place so I can watch the game. So I don't go to a suite, I don't have to hobnob too much during the game. I want to sit there and watch, take it all in and, and follow what's happening. Yeah, oh I have to say I like them all. <laughs> They're all my teams, they're all my favorites. Uh, but I love walking around a media day and getting to talk to the players. And some of them think, well, who is this guy? Why is he talking to me? But as soon as I explain what I'm doing, I think they get a kick out of it. When I announce the artist in the news conference out at the stadium, I said, we're going to have Walk on the Moon as mm -hmm. one of the artists. Well, it's Walk the Moon, not Walk on the Moon, showing my age. And so I followed that up immediately with, I said, I think we're going to get the Beatles and the Beach Boys and maybe Elvis there too, I don't know. Uh, but of course, Mellencamp is the, the, the draw. We had the iconic crystal football back in the day of the BCS, and we wanted a new symbol. We created the logo, 
And then we literally took the logo to a design company and said, here's this logo, can you make a trophy out of it? And these artists said, hmm, let's think about it. And they came back to us with five or six designs and the one we came up with just stood out and we chose it. Well, the best thing for me at Playoff Fan Central is watching the children, mm -hmm. watching the young uh, boys and girls, five, six, seven, eight, nine years old, and just how much they love the activities. There's so many things for kids to do there and uh, we see lots and lots of families. Uh, we have these massive uh, giant football players there, big footballs. Uh, um, just a lot of things, throwing, running, catching, kicking, everything about football families can do at Playoff Fan Central. will not get any score prediction out of me. I will say we're going to have a great game, and I don't care who wins. I just want a great game.